Hello, I am Panos Kodzathanasis, and uh, this is ASEAN Movie Pulse interviews. Today I'm here with uh, Daigo Matsui, director of the film Afgus, which is screening on Short Short Film Festival in Asia, and uh, DJ John, who will be the translator. How are you, everybody? Uh, doing well. Can you talk about it? How are you? Uh, he's doing well. Um, he was shooting up until last week, so uh, the timing is good. He's all ready for you. Uh, okay, great, great. So, uh, for his last three movies, we had uh, Just Remembering, Hunt, and now Avgus, which are very, very different from each other, both in context and form. And uh, does this change is a necessity for him or something that just happened? あの、えっと、多分大きく変わったのが、えっと、コロナ禍で、えっと、交流することがとても貴重になったなっていうことを思ったときに、えっと、それ以前は結構自分の、えっと、感情を貫いたりする話が多かったんですけど、もっと交流することを大
Uh, so, yeah, the, the, the sound of boom or sento boom, um, which is happening even today here in Japan, uh, there's a little bit of difference between today and what was in the past. In the past, uh, the sento, the public baths or saunas, were a gathering place for the local people in, in that neighborhood uh, to get together. Um, but now, with uh, everybody working so hard and the internet and everything so available in the smartphones, uh, a lot of people go to detox themselves from the digital mm -hmm. world uh, to, to refresh their, their body and mind. And um, Kantoku, the director, will go um, once every two days. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and uh, why did he decide? The, did he decide to present a story about the sauna that is closing? Uh, the last part of it. Ab uh, about the sauna that is closing because the shop is closing in uh, the film. Yeah. Then, then, why did this, well, this business, well, the shop's closing, the shop's closing, the shop's closing, the shop's closing, なんか、なんかすごいそれが僕の中では胸が痛くって、で、元々撮影予定していたサウナ施設も潰れちゃってできなくなったりとかもしていたので、なんかそういう意味でそういう人たちにエールを送るじゃないけれども、なんかこう、
Okay. And uh, can he tell us a bit more about the concept of Augus and why did he decide to make it a central theme of the movie? Ma de sono eto Augus Nepa no ano ma performance to yuka shigoto to yuka nan de sore o tori agetai to omotta desu ka ne? Eto nan desu ka kore te sono kaigai de dono gurai sono アウフグースをしてるのかがちょっとわからないんですけど、すごい、えっ、ー、と、日本の独特のエンターテインメント化してるパフォーマンスがすごく面白いなって思ったんですよね。ちゃんとその熱気をその、このサウナ室全体にこう、こう広めるのもそうですし、それをしている熱波師の、えーパフォーマンスで見てる人も飽きさせないようにするっていうのが、うん、やっぱり自分も見ていて面白いなって思うし、あんま割と見落とされがちなところだなって思うので、で、ちょっと日本の独特なガラパゴスなことによって生まれた文化なのではって思って、はい、ちょっと描きましたね。So he's not sure how much that whole off goose、uh, Performance, if you will call it, with the towels and stuff is、uh, used, or, or, or if Europeans are, are perhaps not that familiar with it. But、um, he wanted to show something that was uniquely Japanese. And,、mm. you know, with not just the, the effect of the towel and spreading the steam, but also that kind of performance so that the people inside the sauna and also the people watching the film don't get bored. It's always fun and interesting to watch that kind of performance. But、uh, the main thing is that he, you know, he wanted to be a, a uniquely Japanese kind of culture that he was showing. Panos san wa Afugus uke da koto aru desu ka ne? Panos, have you gone through the whole process of Afugus? No, this is, this is the first time I saw it, but now, now I want to try. <laughs> <laughs> あのこの映画通して初めて見たことで、でもこれ見て自分もちょっとやってみたいと思います。Okay. So, so the presentation of the whole thing in the movie is realistic of August. じゃあ,あのその例えばその主人公の熱波のあのまあやり方というかパフォーマンスというのはこれはあの本当にリアルでああいう感じでやってるんでしょうかね。えっとそうですね。えー、この映画の中では割とそのうんと。ストイックなあの熱波のやり方なんですけど、もうちょっと,ほ、えー、とエンターテイメントに特化すると、それこそタオルをこう手でこうサーカスみたいに回したりとか、なんか投げたり、両手でやったりとか、なんかそういう人もいますね。Yeah, for the movie, you know, the、uh, character who, who does the、uh, off goose is、uh, pretty stoic and, and、uh, um, just kind of does the performance. For the, for the customers, but in reality, you'll have guys who will spin towels like a pizza and、uh, you know, <laughs> throw it up and catch it. So there's even more of a performance、uh -huh. depending on the person doing the off goose.、Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And、uh, can he tell us a bit、uh, about the casting and、uh, particularly if the actors already knew about off goose, if they were, you know. であのちょっとあのキャスティングについて教えてくださいで。特にあのその役者たちはもうすでにそういうあの、まあ、熱,波熱波を経験してたとか、熱波のことを知ってたとか、そこら辺はどうでしょう今回はそのすごくこだわったのは、サウナを、サウナを愛するチームで作りたいって思っていて、なので、えっと、役者さんもスタッフさんもなんですけど、全員サウナが好きな人たちで、特に今回、出演者に関して言うと、日本を代表するサウナの人たちですね。もうなので、サウナは全員知ってるような、はい、人たちに出てもらってます。So he really wanted to uh, uh, be selective with the cast. And what he did was gather actors and even the crew、uh, as much as possible who loved saunas.、Mm -hmm. And so、uh, he felt that he had a crew and an acting cast that represented Japan、uh, in their love for saunas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And the,、uh, the, color, the coloring of the film, the colors occasionally are、uh, really intense. Can he tell us why did he choose this approach? I know, in the film, coloring, the film, 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 the サウナっていうのがすごくオレンジの明かりを、えっと、際立たせたかったんですよね。で、プラスその
、えー、40度の温度だけど照明でこうサウナ室を表現するっていう意味で暑そうだなっていう色にしたかったってなった時にじゃあ逆にサウナ室以外はもうちょっとクールめというか青めにしてできるだけサウナの中が際立つようにしてっていうふうにしてサウナ室のオレンジに向かって他の色をコントロールしていったっていう形ですね。So, of course,、uh, what he wanted to do was、uh, use、uh, orange a lot to represent the heat of the sauna. And he really wanted it to stand out. So, of course, he used lighting tricks as well、uh, to make sure that how hot it is came through on the screen on visually、uh, because they had to turn the heat down in reality to, to shoot it. So,、um, but the other areas outside the sauna,、uh, he did maybe a little bit more bluish kind of coloring to、uh, differentiate it. From the orange hotness of the、uh, sauna. <laughs> okay, okay. And can he tell us what is his opinion regarding the Japanese movie industry at the moment, particularly regarding short films? The Kantok is a film in the Japan Asia Gyokai, Asia Sangyo, in the Japan Asia Gyokai, in the Japan Asia Gyokai, in the Japan Asia Gyokai, in the Japan Asia Gyokai. 全体的には、えー、やっぱり二極化してるのが特に感じるのがすごくそのうん人気コミックを人気俳優たちで実写映画化する商業的なものと、えー、すごくアーティスティックだけれども低予算で作ろうっていうものがちょっと二極化していて、えー、もうちょっとそこが交われば映画産業自体が賑やかになるのになっていうことを思ったりしつつ、でもこの間のカンヌ映画祭でね、その、是枝監督だったりとか、北野武監督とかがやっぱり作品を発表したりするので、なんかそれによって、よりまた実写、日本の実写映画がこう、面白いなってなればいいなっていうのはありまして、で、逆に短編映画の方が今、このショートショートのラインナップとか見ると、ちょっと元気になっているような気がしていて、それこそその役者さんが監督をしたりですとか、やっぱりそのコロナ禍によってみんながいろいろそのパソコンでできることが増えていったことによって、すごい少ない人たちで作品を作るっていうことが、ちょっと、えー、これからどうなっていくか楽しみですね。So, um... He feels like there's, there are really two worlds in the、uh, Japanese film industry right now. And one is that Um, overall, if there's a, a very popular or hit manga comic,、uh, then they'll make a feature with the very popular、uh, young actors. Or the other side of it are, are the more independent, artistic、uh, kind of films that are made with、uh, lower and less budget.、Um, so he, he feels like if we can get a good mix of that, Uh, then the Japanese film industry might become、um, you know, more energetic and more fun. But you know, just recently, of course, it can.、Uh, the uh, Koreda uh, film and also、uh, Shitano Takeshi、uh, you know, sh showed and presented their new films. So, still,、um, Japanese films are, are very interesting and doing well, but especially in, in the case of short films,、uh, looking at, for example, the lineup. For the Short Shorts Film Festival this year,、uh, it seems to be doing very well. And、uh, there's a lot of actors now directing short films. And then because of COVID,、uh, a lot of kids are, or filmmakers are turning to their computers and they can make things easier. So、uh, that's had an effect as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.、Uh, so now that he mentioned uh, Corrida and uh, Kitano, it, it seems to me there are like Two different parts of the Japanese movie industry. It's the one where the Western world knows, particularly through festivals. And then there is the other movies that are very popular blockbuster within Japan. Which one would he feel, would he prefer to, to do in the future? Which one? Become rich or famous, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> I know. そうですね、今あのおっしゃってたそのカンヌで是枝監督とか、うん、あの北野武さんがあの,の作品はもうあのいわゆる海外ではすごく知られてて、うんあのまあ、そういう何て言うんですね海外のフィルムメーカーとか映画ファンのリスペクトを得てると思うんですけどその逆に反対に日本で、まあ、そういう人気漫画とか人気若い人気役者たちの大ヒット作もあるので監督としてはどっちがいいんですか
。ああ、そうっすね。まあ、やっぱり自分はその、お金を稼ぎたい、映画でお金を稼ぎたいというよりも、面白いものをより遠くの人に届けたいって思いがやっぱり強いのでそういう意味ではやっぱりうーんアーティスティックというか作家性の強いものをうんできるだけ大きい規模で本当はやりたいなという思いです。So yeah, he's really had to think about that, but he feels like instead of making money, he really wants to present entertaining Japanese movie to the world. So he would probably go, you know, more to the artistic side, but he would like to do it on a bigger stage and on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess last question what is he working on next if he can reveal some information? Ma, Kongo no Yote toka, Ima, Netteru, Sakin, Yueru Hain, de Nanika, Rimaska. Eh, to, so this, ne, Kono, Senshu, Made, Satsui, Stata, Mono, eh, to, 恋愛 SF 映画ですかね。はい。ちょっとだからもうちょっと恋愛は、はい、これもうちょっとやっていきたいなと思ってますね。So one thing he can mention is、uh, the, the film that he finished shooting last week. It's a、uh, science fiction love story. You、mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. can say that. Okay. で、えー、ごめんなさい。もうちょっとやっていきたいというのはあのー、ラブストーリーを。おお、はい。And, and I, he thinks he wants to make more love stories,、uh -huh. romantic、uh, films. Okay, okay. All right, great. Thank you very much. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this was Azan Movie Pulse interviews from Panos Kodathanasis, Daigo Machui, and DJ John. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.